bathrooms are located down the stairs. Should the need arise. All 5050 proceeds tonight will go to the American Red Cross Hurricane Relief Fund. So please buy some tickets to raise money for the Red Cross. Tonight's ceremony is dedicated in memory of our past post-79 commander, Mark T. Cobra. Mark was a 15-year Berlin resident who passed away in the fall of 2016. Mark was a Vietnam War veteran and family man who left a lasting impression on our community and was the finest example of patriotism and good citizenship. His wife, Ann, and daughter, Egan, are with us this evening and I know, this, I know the family is very proud tonight. This evening we will honor Mark and his family by awarding the Charles S. Hatch Post 79 Commander Mark T. Pilgrim Americanism Award, which will be presented annually to a group or individual who have inspired and displayed outstanding patriotism and good citizenship throughout the community. Please stand for the invitation by our chaplain, Paul Lovett. I cover. For the joy of life, we are grateful to thee, O God, for the we have as we dance one with another. We thank you. We pray for the food we are about to receive, which will be used to strengthen for strength to serve you. Dear Lord, may this meal that we share be seasoned and above with thy blessing and thy grace for most of all of thy love. Amen. Amen. If I could have Miss Caitlin Price come up, please. Mr. 
Mr. Tony Sincaro. Thank you. 
activities and fundraisers hosted by Charles A. Cass, Post 79, the Post Auxiliary, and its Legion Riders, you call the public attention to our work in support of our citizens of Burbank and veterans of Burbank as well, and surrounding communities. Your efforts contribute greatly to the advancement of the American Legion program and state activities and providing great service to the community, state, and nation.
Rosewald has lost after a horrific attack has grown to be a premier veterans celebration ceremony in the area. Last year was the 15th annual celebration and now the event typically hosts over 500 veterans, first responders, and guests. There was also a moving dedication of a POW MII chair by the local Nolan Thunder Chapter donated by Huffy City. It just renews your faith in the students gathered this quarter thing after last year's celebration. They don't just jump, they hurl. Just imagine how many students over the years have learned the importance of honoring our veterans through this event, as well as important history, and now many of them are adults in our communities and have children of their own. In addition to the outstanding efforts of the students, we should also acknowledge the hard work of the teaching staff, Assistant Principal Emily Stauffer, and Principal Tony Bergen for their help in organizing the event, as well as the continued support of the school administration over the years of such a great honor celebration. Throughout the years, Kathy and Chris have truly inspired patriotism and good citizenship in both students and teaching staff by their relentless dedication in honoring local veterans and first responders. This year's celebration will be held on November 3rd at AEF at the Marshall Middle School. And I hope you have the opportunity to see this amazing event. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely honored to present the 2017 Child Best Batch of 79 Martin Pilgrim Americanism Award to Kathy Locke and Chris Bisson.
George Police Officer of 2017. Presenting the award is Bird Chief of Police, Timothy Town.
generation is part of our work. He added the priority cuts earlier this year with another great idea, adding two additional flagpoles for the total cost of a few, only a few hundred dollars. He rallied the necessary town hall personnel and local businesses and ensured that a tree to a flag could be flying for the five Memorial Day weekend. Today, hundreds of cars traveling on 236 in Burr pass by the park and view the American flag flying proudly, flying by the main state flag and the POW MIA flag. As if this weren't enough, his signature effort is well known and well received at the Burr Car Show. For the past five years, he has signed on sponsors, corralled volunteers, designed car show awards and t-shirts, and served as the front man for what now has become an annual work event. This year, he reached a major milestone with a record 126 cars, custom and motorcycles racing Sullivan Square. When it was all said and done, he turned over the final proceeds totaling some $5,000 to the post finance office. This young gentleman lives each day like a man on a mission, and chances are, on any given day, he is on a mission. Whatever he's out, whether he's still about selling tickets, supporting the post annual raffle, helping his wife Judy at an auxiliary event, or thinking about another way to benefit his community and fellow veterans, he's always smiling. It might make you wonder what he's up to, but most of us who know him know he's up there making a difference. For the past five years now, this person has raised close to half of the donation that keeps Berwick American Legion Post running while benefiting the citizens of Berwick and surrounding communities. For that reason, we proudly salute our friend and comrade, Andrew Buckman, Berwick Volunteer of the Year for 2017. Presenting the award is Post 79, Task Commander, 2013 Citizen of the Year, and Chairman of this year's Dinner Committee, and a great friend of Andy's, Mr. Ron Bigger.
the 1955 graduate of Burke High School. That same year, he enrolled in a two-year liberal arts program up in Canada at St. Joseph University in Bolton, New Brunswick. After returning to Burwick, he enlisted in the U.S. Air Force for four years and received his honorable discharge in the summer of 1963 in Kansas, where he decided to stay and finish his studies. In the following year, he received his B.A. in history from Benedicta, Benedicta, College in Atkinson, Kansas. He spent the next 31 years as a social science teacher in the Burwick School System. During his time, he obtained a master's degree in education from Riviera College at National New Hampshire, a master's in U.S. history at the University of New Hampshire in Durham, and in 1980, a third master's of education from the University of Southern Maine at Boulder. Also during this period, he became a member of the New Hampshire Air National Guard, which he retired from after serving a total of 26 years, which included his active duty time at the rank of Master Sergeant. He is a charter member of the Boulder Historical Society and for several years has written numerous town historical articles, including included in the town report. In 2012, the town recognized his efforts by dedicating the town report to him. He was a member of the Civic Civil Service Commission serving from 1984 to 1987, a member of the Burwick Community Television Committee, and also on the MSAB 60 Adult Education Advisory Board. He presently services as the Didymus Justice for Burwick, certifying those who wish to be notary publics in the state of Maine. He is a member of the Town Budget Committee and has sometimes as a volunteer at the Rochester Manor, the York County Homer Shelter in Alfred, and the Table of Plenty here in Burbank. If he is able to somehow squeeze in some personal time, we find seclusion at his art studio in Rollinsburg. His paintings have been on display at the libraries in Berwick, Summersworth, Dover, Rochester, and Barrington, New Hampshire. Many of his works have been donated to the local charities for fundraising purposes. Post 79 is extremely pleased and honored to have the Honorable Mrs. Beth O'Connor, District 145 Representative in the Maine State Legislature, present the 2017 Burwick Citizen of the Year Award to Mr. Brian Sincata.
has done a success. A special thanks to Mr. John Kutcher and his students for the outstanding meal. I'd like to thank the board for attending and congratulations to all those who are here, their families, and friends. I hope everyone has a good night and a safe journey home.